Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome, and if it's not, welcome back. I brought you into my kitchen again because I'm going to make a really simple spaghetti sauce. There is no recipe. This is, well, there's no written recipe for this version, so either quickly grab a pencil and paper or you can come back and re-watch the video when we're finished but this is my go-to in a hurry need to get table dinner on the table right away everyone's starving and there's nothing done pasta sauce it's quick it's easy it's tasty it's frugal and best of all it's double up cooking so let's get started if you get seasick Close your eyes for a minute because I'm just going to tip you down so you can see what I'm doing at the bench. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to start off with TVP. TVP is um, one of the main ingredients in this recipe. So... I'm going to do one cup and because I've just refilled my canister, I've just got a big TVP order, I will do two half cups. Now I'm doing this first because it needs to be reconstituted, which means it needs water or stock or veggie juice or something added to it so that it won't be dry and crumbly. So I'm going to add some water. I already have water boiled because you remember my save power campaign that I'm on? Well, every morning I boil the thermos and that's what I use for my tea, coffee, hot chocolates during the day. So there's water in there and yes, it's hot. So I'll measure out one cup. I don't have stock and I don't have veggie juice to use. So we'll just use water today. Pour that in. One cup of water to one cup of TVP. Give it a swish around. I'm going to pop a plate on the top and let it steam. It takes a few minutes to reconstitute or rehydrate. So I do that first. Next, I am going to take 500 grams of mints. This has been thawed in the fridge overnight and I will light the stove. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. And let the wok heat up. Now, I use my wok for just about everything. I use my wok or I have a big saute pan. These are my go-to pans for just about everything. But I like the wok because it's got nice deep sides. So for double up cooking, it's perfect. Um, let it heat up a bit. And when it gets warm, I will tip this into the pan. And that can go straight in the bin. All right. Now, you want the mince to brown. Let me bring you a wee bit closer. Oops, sorry. So you can actually see what's happening. Is that better? You want the mince to brown. Now I use this handy dandy tool. It's actually a dough hook and it works really, really well for bread doughs and things that my lovely friend Carol gave me. It's perfect for breaking up meat in the pan too so but I want it to brown so I'm going to leave it I'll break it into chunks but I'm going to leave it so that it does get a crust on the bottom it only takes a couple of minutes now this is really quick this recipe I started making this when our children were very little and they didn't have quite as sophisticated palates. They didn't like very rich foods. 
so instead of making the traditional pasta sauce, which I love to do, but I do that usually two or three days before I start that, I started doing this one for them. And you may have noticed on our meal plans, we always have a pasta dish on Tuesday. It's pasta night. Thursday's pizza night, Tuesday is pasta of some kind. So that started um, when, again, when the children, or the boys were very small, Hannah wasn't even born, and Wayne had tech on a Tuesday night. So it started at 6. He finished work at 5. He'd come flying home, and I would have dinner on the table waiting for him and pasta was the easiest thing to do because I could make the sauce early in the morning put the noodles in the boiling water and have them ready to put on a plate as I heard him pour into the driveway he would quickly race have a wash change his clothes gulp down his dinner and go to be at tech by six and we have just always kept Tuesday as pasta night Okay, this is browning up. What I'm going to do, once this has browned on the outside and it's all broken up the way I like it, and this dough hook makes it so much easier to break up the clumps of meat and it doesn't damage the finish on my wok. Um, the TVP has absorbed all the water. So, nearly all brown. Once this is brown, and I'm happy with the level of brownness on the outside of it, it doesn't have to be cooked all the way through. I will, nearly done, sizzling really well. The pan's nice and hot, which is just what I want because I am now going to take the TVP from over here. Oops. And you can see that it's all nicely reconstituted. And I'm going to tip that in with the mint. Let it sizzle. You can hear the sizzling, I'm sure. Mix it all through and let it all finish browning together. This, cooking the TVP off like this, just gives it a nicer flavour. It picks up more of the hmm, fried meat flavour, if that's what it's, I don't know what the technical term for it is. And I will cook that off until there's still quite a bit of water there. You might be able to see it pouring in the bottom of the pan. I can't tell whether you can or not. I'm going to let that cook off. Once that's cooked off and it's a little bit drier, we'll add some onion. Now, if you've got fresh onion, use it. I'm using dried onion at the moment. And again, there is no recipe for this, so there's no real quantity. But what I'm going to do is take a good pinch of dried onion, about that much, maybe a bit more because we do like onion. And put that in, and it can start rehydrating as it cooks. Cooking it off. I forgot to get the no yep, I forgot to get the garlic out, so give me just a second to get the garlic. I will be right back. It's just up here in the cupboard. And basil. Now, normally, once I put the TVP in the water to boil and put the mints on to brown, 
I put the my uh, put the pasta on to cook because it only takes a few minutes. It does not take long at all. Now I'll talk to you more about that piece. <laughs> okay, sprinkle of garlic. This is just some dried garlic. I don't have any fresh at the moment. And some basil. Oh, wish you could smell the basil. Smells so good. In it goes. I don't mind basil. And remember, this will do a double recipe. This will make enough for two dinners for us. Now, let that cook up a wee bit. The TVP has almost completely disappeared into that meat mixture. Let me bring it forward a bit and you can maybe see what it's like. It's very hard to pick the TVP out of that um, mint mixture now. It's browned up nicely. It's all well blended in. It's all, all the bits, granules, I guess they are, are about the same size as the mint. Next step, tomato soup. Um, this is Coles. I normally use Aldi, but during the um, lockdowns and shortages and whatever last year, I can turn the heat down a wee bit. Scrape that off. In goes tomato soup. Always, always, always either rinse out your tomato soup can or your chicken soup can or mushroom soup can or whatever. Or use a scraper to scrape it out because just tipping it out leaves so much still in the can. I'll show you in a second. Here's another one. Remember the double recipe, double up cooking. So two tins of tomato soup. And if you just, hmm, I don't know whether you can see that or not, there's a lot left in there. Watch how much comes out. We'll scrape off the lid and then scrape down the sides. And there would easily be close to another quarter of a cup left in the can. If you don't scrape it out, you just put it straight into the recycle bin or rinse it down the drain and put it in the recycle bin. You are throwing money away and we work too hard for our money. Now, turning the heat right down now. Give it a good mix up. Time to swap to my trendy dandy so I can scroll up. Okay. Now. And that is it. I've turned the heat down. It is still simmering. I would normally put the lid on this and let it simmer until the pasta is cooked and then it's done. So hmm, maybe two minutes longer than it takes to cook pasta you've got a really tasty really quick really cheap pasta sauce okay that's it it looks really good now i do want to show you because someone's going to say there's no way you can get two meals out of that see this trusty soup ladle this is my measure for measuring out pasta sauce, for measuring out soups, obviously, stews, casseroles, curries, anything that goes over another thing, like um, if it goes over pasta, it goes over rice, it goes over mashed potato, um, whatever, this is what we use. And this is one serve. Now I'm going to show you. Can't see because let me get it this way so the camera can pick up for you. That's a serve. Someone is going to say that's not very much. My family would never eat that. That's not. Ten. Well, you know, guys, that is a serve. That is a portion. When we talk about portion control, that's portion control. That is one serve 
over pasta. Now I'm going to get a packet of pasta and I'll pop this back in to finish cooking because we all know that with pasta, pasta sauces, the longer they cook, longer and slower they cook, the tastier they are. Okay, turn that off. I'm going to go and quickly get a packet of pasta because I forgot to do it. But I really want to talk about this. This is really, really important when it comes to portion control. Okay, I'm back. You just can't see me because I've lost my gadget. Where did it go? Can't find it, and that'll teach me to not be organized properly, won't it? Doesn't matter. Okay, let me turn you up and you get to see my face again, my smiling face. I'll move you back just a wee bit so I'm not terrifying small children. Okay. This is the um, 75 cent pasta from Aldi. It was 50 cents, gone up to 75 cents. Made in Australia. Um, so it's really good. This is a 500 gram packet. And on the, oh, oh, here we go, on the nutrition information panel, it tells you a serving size. That's four servings, 125 grams of dry pasta each. Let me tell you, I have a tall husband and a big tall son and a bigger, bigger, taller, taller son. They would not eat 125 grams of pasta. That is a lot of pasta. This packet, I get six adult serves out of this packet. And that is more than enough. In fact, AJ has asked to not have quite so much pasta because it is too much for him. He finds it difficult to eat it all. So, portion control. What I do, and this is what I can't find and it's very annoying, is I have a pasta measurer. It's a long thing and it's got holes in it. I've had it for 30 years maybe more we've been married 33 years so maybe more it came from a two dollar shop crazy clints or or somewhere like that i have had it a very long time i use the three person circle to do enough pasta for the four of us from that because 125 grams of dry pasta boiled is a lot of pasta. It is too much. I don't know where they got their serving sizes from, but there is no way. If I cooked that whole packet, we'd be eating pasta for three days. It is too much. So when you are looking at your recipes and trying to decide, you know, are they worth making because they could be quite expensive, think about portions. If you're using things like pasta or rice or something that an ingredient that actually has a size on it, a portion size on it, have a look at it. Actually measure it out, weigh it out, measure it out and have a look at it and see just how much it is because often they are just too big, too, too big. And that leads to waste and waste is money in the bin and waste adds to our grocery bill. So anyway, off my high horse now. If you've made it this far, thank you. I appreciate it. We will eat half of this tonight over pasta and the rest of it will go into the freezer for next week or the week after when we need another spag bowl or pasta bake type dish. The sauce is already done and that's one of the... Um, benefits of double up cooking I was going to work out the price okay 
I used 400 grams of past of mince was four dollars. Um, two tins of tomato soup is a dollar sixty. That's five dollars sixty. The TVP was a dollar twenty, so that's six dollars eighty. The onion and garlic and basil. Well, the garlic and basil came from the garden, so they're free. The onion I did buy and I used a handful and it was probably about 20 grams, so say maybe 50 cents. So what's that? $7.30, which makes it $3.50, $3.65 a meal, which is under a dollar a portion. I hope I've got my math right. I should have done this before I came on camera, but I didn't. But it's quick, it's easy, it's tasty everybody likes it and it is hard to find i don't know why i can't find it i'm moving you around and i should be able to find it sorry guys there we go it's budget friendly pasta sauce cheapskate style if you try it let me know what you think and remember there is no written recipe herbs and spices the garlic the onion the basil you do by taste what you like what you don't like and you might prefer to put oregano in instead of basil or you might prefer them both in use what you have and make it your own anyway thank you for watching if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please do we would love to have you join us on a regular basis and if you're subscribed you are notified when we go live or when we upload a new video and you're also in the draw for that wonderful Sunbeam Food Lab dehydrator that we have. We're getting there, guys. It'll be gone really soon, I'm sure. I cannot wait to get rid of that thing. Send it off to a new home. If you know someone who might like our channel or who might like this recipe that's not a recipe, there's a share button underneath. Click that. It sends them a link. Happy cheap skating, and I hope you enjoy the spaghetti if you make it. And I need to go click and say goodbye. Okay, bye, folks. Didn't end. Sorry, guys.